So welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to do medium format photography, both analog and digital. And I'm going to show how easy it is to get into this format and not to be too worried about it. I'll show examples of both digital and analog. So let's start. So GFX 50S medium format Fuji camera and the Yashica Mat 124 loaded with Portra 400 Kodak film. Lovely film. If you like to learn and be inspired, join me on a quest of creativity. Explore film, alternative processes and digital. Please subscribe and hit that notification button to get the latest videos every week. Both cameras are wonderful cameras. Uh, on the digital side, I want to talk a little bit about the GFX. The GFX is a, a fantastic camera. It is a beast of a camera. If you're using this camera, I would recommend to use to shoot in manual to get the most out of this camera. I don't like the automatic mode in this camera. Manual kind of works and you tweak it the way you want it, the way you look you want. And that's what I've done here in this video. And then I did some black and white conversions in silver effects. Now I'm going to show you the film as well, which is the Portra, which is shot on six by six. Christina has been singing for a very long time and she recently went to Brazil, came back with a heap of Brazilian music, Bossa Nova, and that's how this kind of band came together uh, because they all have an interest in this type of music. Of the instrument, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, this is good. Uh, and I'm not. Okay. Not. Cool, this, yeah. Cool. Wenn der liegt. Ah, mir hat das gut gefallen, so von unten. Also das, das eine. Ja, ja. Das ist schön. two cameras the Shika is such a portable camera while the GFX is quite a monster of a camera it is an incredible feat of what they've actually managed to put into this camera in terms of the sensor size I mean I'm using quite a big lens here which is a 32 to 64 which is equivalent to I think about 25 millimeters to 51 millimeters if I'm correct while on the Shika it's pretty much a set fixed lens there is a lens adapter of course which is about a 50 millimeter equivalent on this camera uh, which is 75 millimeter on medium format f 2.8 uh, both cameras are wonderful and there's really no way to compare these two cameras i love them both equally so if you're looking for a comparison here you're completely out for lunch because you can't it's like apples and oranges uh, film is still really good especially on the yashica for what you get and the glass it's well worth the money to go out and shoot medium format film. Digital is wonderful, it's flexible, it's great for professional use. So is film. So shoot whatever you like and enjoy. So not everyone can afford a digital medium format camera. However, there's plenty of inexpensive medium format film cameras like that Yashica. And that Yashica cost me about 200 euros and I've had that for a couple of years. 
and I've always been impressed with the image quality that I get out of it. It's incredible and it does give that uh, Fuji GFX a run for its money when you compare the price that I paid for that digital medium format camera and that film camera. Uh, it's incredible. So both mediums are wonderful. On the film side of things, uh, there's a Bronica, there's Miyama system, and there's also the Hasselblad system if you want changeable backs, which uh, that's the kind of thing I would, would like myself. Um, at some point, I'm gonna have to go down that route and, and pick up one of those systems. Um, also, that's really nice is the Pentax 6.7. That has some amazing lenses. And then there's the Pentacon 6. Now be careful with that camera. They are inexpensive and they're on, you know, they're easy to get, but they have problems with their shutter and their timing because they're getting quite old now. The Japanese cameras tend to be solid and don't need much work. Uh, and there's plenty of um, accessories available for them. So I now leave you with the band's music from Christina, Tobias and Eduardo and I'd like to thank them for being such great models. subscribe please hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit the little notification bell and hope to see you on the next video goodbye